you're aware of the peer-to-peer -peer network known as BitTorrent but have been hesitant to use it, well, stop being a wuss. It's not lying taming. Come on, it's just downloading, right? It's not it's, hard. It's just a network. Now, you know, we just talked about uh, Chase and the uh, Chase, and the reason I have this out here is that I said, you know, is there any way for people who don't have a DVD player to actually enjoy this stuff? And he said they're going to be offering it on BitTorrent soon, which is awesome. BitTorrent, we still get emails, we still get questions. What is it? How do I use it? You know, and so we're gonna we're gonna kind of clear the airwaves now. BitTorrent is simply a file distribution tool. It's a protocol. It's good for large files that would generally like hog all your bandwidth if you're trying to share them with a traditional application. So mm -hmm. you use BitTorrents, right? I mean, you've all used the them time. before, right? All the time. Now, what, what kind of content are you downloading? Uh, it's really great for getting films for TV shows, stuff like that, because right. the files completely are completely so illegal big. TV shows. Exactly. That you own stuff the right that people to. want to have out there. Exactly. And the files are so big that one of the problems with getting it before was that you know it was really hard to get a, a, a decent connection with someone who had you know the three gigabyte file right you had, to, you had to hope and pray that someone on like a t3 was being generous and had a slot open for you well now that's that's all out the window with BitTorrent so here's how it works this is kind of a convoluted animation that might explain it so let's say we have a hundred meg file okay uh, BitTorrent is going to let me share that with somebody and that somebody while they're still downloading it from me is going to share it with someone else so mm -hmm. if I'm sharing attack of the show episode whatever this is and and Peter you want it as well you're gonna start downloading it from me and if my buddy Steve jumps on he can not only be seeding from me downloading from me but downloading from you at the same time yeah you have to upload at the same time as you download exactly and that's what's really cool about it. they've eliminated you, you were calling it earlier they, they, they solved the free rider problem that affected exactly. so many other peer-to-peer -peer networks yeah it used to be you could just hop on and say here's the folder I want to share and or here's the folders I want to download from but but mm -hmm. isn't, this is what I'm not sharing, basically. Yeah, almost, like 99% of people were just downloading and not sharing. Exactly, exactly. So that, that problem's gone. Uh, it forces you to upload, which is great. And uh, the thing is, you need, you need a program to use it. And, and what I like about BitTorrent, more so than like a Kazaa or anything, any other kind of peer-to-peer -peer app, is to me, I think it's easier. Like, if I want to download an album, I click on one file, I click on one torrent, and it grabs me all the mm -hmm. songs. You know, if I'm getting an episode of a show, Click on one file and I get it, or sometimes a whole season. Yeah, you can file. get the entire season of some shows. Exactly. So. so, but the one thing you're going to need is a BitTorrent application. Now, we took kind of an informal poll around the office uh, to see what what clients people liked, and they came up with uh, two. Some people are still using the the actual default BitTorrent client, you know, like the official one. Mm -hmm. I guess because it is official and it works, and there you go. The one that I use actually is uh, it's Azarius, 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 Azurus. We'll take it. You went to Harvard. How do you say this? I'm sure we'll be getting an email about it. Soon. Yeah, everybody's going to be correcting our, our pronunciation very. The reason I like this one is that it's Java. It's got an RSS importer plugin. It has chat plugins so you can talk to other people that are pirating the same exact, that are sharing and downloading the same exact stuff that you are, which is really nice. But you use. Uh, I'm using BitComet. Uh, BitComet. You know, it doesn't have as many of the advanced features, but it actually uh, integrates really well with Videora, which is um, another. It sort of combines RSS feeds with, um, with BitTorrent. So you can subscribe right. to a TV show and it'll automatically download the latest episode. Very nice. So, so you use video or, video or for grabbing your, your TV shows and mm -hmm. your movies. But there's also some other sites out there when it comes to grabbing pretty much anything. The one I use, the one I love to death, is Torrent Spy. Uh, TorrentSpy.com. The problem is, is that because of the uh, the DMCA, you've never had any run-ins with the DMCA, right? Uh, not so far. They're blocking certain words. Like if I search Andreas, it's telling me, hey, no, this has been blocked. But you know, the work around that, kids, is to just go ahead and type the word "san" because we know what you're looking for, and there's all the torrents you need. So they can't ban every word in the dictionary, right? Hopefully I mean, not. It was just like with uh, the original Napster when they started kowtowing to the RC uh, double A. Yeah, R I double A. Yeah. Exactly. They're, they're like, oh, you you can't type Taylor Dane, but you can search for her song title. Yeah. It's like, come on. Really, and you shouldn't be downloading Taylor Dane in the first place. Seriously, what are you, 60? <laughs> all right. For all the info on BitTorrent, just go to our website at g4tv.com slash AOTS.